Hey guys, I'm Esther from S Lashes, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to open up a brand new lash glue, how to properly break the seal, how to prevent glue from getting on the nozzle, and how to store it. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how I do this. All right, so I've got a brand new S Lashes glue here. So this is a rapid lash adhesive. So it dries in about one to two seconds for the dry time and the retention is about seven to eight weeks. So we have one that dries a little bit slower and one that dries faster. But when you open it up, of course, you're gonna have your lash glue bottle, which is our rapid lash adhesive for extensions. And then we have a little glue nozzle pin, which I'm gonna show you guys how to use that and what it's for. And then a lot of lash glues will also come with a second nozzle in case something happens to yours you need to change it out and a little silica gel package so we've got our glue there and then we have our nozzle pin which we're going to be using to shake the glue if we don't have a glue shaker and to break the seal because all glues should be sealed when they arrive now for the second nozzle sometimes your nozzle gets destroyed from the lash glue so you can actually change it out and the silica gel pack is going to help keep it fresh, so do not throw away that silica pack. Now, first thing we're going to do is remove the cap from the lid, and that is completely sealed, as you can see there. There's no glue in the nozzle, nothing like that. You don't want to shake this before you go ahead and do this. You want to break the seal first before you shake it. Shake it, sorry. So um, here's where that little glue nozzle pin comes in handy. So I'm just going to insert that, and that is going to break the seal. So just use a pretty firm pressure there to get that into the nozzle. And then when we're removing, you can use a glue shaking device if you have one of those if you don't you can shake your glue by hand so glue when you're first opening it or you're starting the day you'll want to shake it for a full two minutes if you don't have the machine so make sure you're shaking that from side to side and not up and down because if you shake it up and down the glue is just going to like explode out of the nozzle it's going to create a huge mess it's going to waste your glue and it could even ruin your nozzle so shake it side to side now as you go throughout the day you can just shake it for 10 to 15 seconds side to side but at the start of the day you want to give it a good two minute shake because you need all those ingredients to be mixed together otherwise they are going to separate as they sit there and the lash glue won't work properly so make sure you are shaking that glue now you can put your glue on a number of things just make sure you're not putting it on any cotton products because it can react with natural fibers like cotton um, so i'm going to use a pink jade stone here any kind of jade stone or rose quartz would work and I'm just gonna while I'm removing the pin I want to wiggle it around instead of pulling it directly out because pulling it directly out again can cause the glue to kind of explode out of the bottle so this just prevents a mess from happening now if there is any mess you can use your adhesive nozzle wipes but I also use them to burp the lash glue so if there's a little bit of air trapped in there you just squeeze that air out and wipe it on a lash glue nozzle wipe now you can see perfectly i'm going at a 90 degree angle you want to let gravity do the work here when you're actually applying a lash extension glue drop because you can see here if you go at a 45 degree angle you can cause yourself to have a bit of a mess like don't worry if you do you can grab a nozzle wipe and you can clean that up right away but just try to do it at a 90 degree angle to save yourself the trouble and save yourself the glue so i have a nozzle wipe here you can use nozzle wipes just again make sure you're not using cotton you can even use aluminum foil to wipe um, because that won't have a reaction with the glue so aluminum foil is a good cheap option especially if you're starting out now for glue storage you want to store it in an airtight container with the silica pack so you can put your glue in there and don't store your glue with any primer or any bonders or anything like that just store it with other glue and make sure you're sitting that upright not on its side and out of sunlight so here's a few more satisfying glue drops and guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this one about everything lash related just make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below